Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Operation Freedom Briefings. The goal of these briefings and my weekly radio show, Operation Freedom, which airs out of the People's Republic of Ann Arbor, Michigan, every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern and can be streamed at DaveJanda.com, is to provide you information the bought-off lamestream fake media will never touch. Look, January 15th, the storm hits. I really believe the storm is going to hit. This is not willful thinking, hopeful thinking. This is fact. The Inspector General of the Department of Justice, Michael Horowitz, is going to issue a report. That report is six years in the making, almost six years in the making. Michael Horowitz was appointed Inspector General of the Department of Justice in April of 2012. Probably the best appointment Barack Obama ever made, but also one of the most deleterious to Barack Obama and the globalist syndicate. Why? Because Michael Horowitz, behind the curtain, it's my understanding, has been carrying on a systematic campaign of reinstating the rule of law in our country. And what's going to happen on January 15th? He's going to issue a report. It's my understanding that report is going to be comprehensive. It's going to go as far back to Fast and Furious and what really happened there about the collusion of the Obama administration in funneling arms, weapons, into Mexican drug cartels, which were then utilized to actually harm and injure and kill U.S. border agents. It's going to go beyond Fast and Furious, however. It's going to talk about the complicity of the Justice Department and these illegal activities that occurred for a number of years, which will implicate Eric Holder, Loretta Lynch. It will go back into the Clinton email scandal and out the, the collusion that occurred between the department, people in the Department of Justice, not the entire Department of Justice, but people in the Department of Justice, the Obama White House, and the FBI. And this is where Comey and Strazik all get annihilated in the process. It is also my understanding that the Uranium One deal will be discussed in this release on January 15th by the Inspector General about the collusion that occurred there. It's also my understanding that the Clinton Foundation will be dissected in that report about the pay-to-play program, which obviously does turn, turn to the Uranium One deal, where, where for 20% of the uranium supply, which was essentially funneled to Russia, the Clinton Foundation made a cool $145 million in contributions. Bill Clinton who gave a $500,000 speech in Russia, in Moscow, to, at the bank that was behind the financing of the Uranium One deal on the Russian side. It's going to also address, it's my understanding, the illegal surveillance of not only Donald Trump, but of millions of Americans, including you. We dissected this on Operation Freedom with General Tom McInerney, who, op, who, who outed this information back in March 19th of 2017. He discussed the fact of Dennis Montgomery being hired by the Obama administration, in particular Brennan, the head of the CIA, Clapper, the head of the, the National Security Agency, to surreptitiously develop a program called The Hammer to monitor every American's, including Trump's, emails, phone calls, internet activities, and financial transactions. And remember, we also had Clapper essentially lying in front of Congress and Comey lying in front of Congress that they didn't know anything about this, when in fact, Dennis Montgomery had been interrogated by the FBI, gave a deposition under oath of which Comey was aware. This is going to be huge, folks. Fast and Furious. The, the Uranium One deal. The Clinton Foundation pay-for-play program. The illegal surveillance of every American. Add to that, it's my understanding they're also going to discuss in this report that famed tarmac meeting between Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch, and all of a sudden Hillary was exonerated. But to add fuel to the fire, there's another patriot, world patriot, that has been working, it's my understanding, with the Trump administration that much of this information is going to come to fruition, and we're already seeing drips and dribbles of it. Headline from Zero Hedge, not the mainstream media, lamestream fake media, 
WikiLeaks, John Podesta was briefed on gross negligence that, negligence, that term in the report that would have criminalized what Hillary did with her server. Understand, Obama was also involved. He was using a fake name, a pseudonym, to send messages on that server, knew it was a, a separate server, separate from government, if you will, embracement. No, Obama's up to his eyeballs in this as well. But John Podesta was briefed on gross negligence before the FBI removed the phrase from the Clinton exoneration. That came from WikiLeaks. Now, let me give you a little information I have this morning from, about Julian Assange. Julian Assange, is my understanding, has been extracted from the Ecuadorian embassy with the help support of the Trump administration. It's my understanding Julian Assange is safe, he's, being, he's offshore, and he is opening up information that will be utilized in conjunction with this Department of Justice Inspector General report to take down the criminal globalist syndicate that has been stripping freedom and liberty from every American and, frankly, every person worldwide. Look, the storm hits January 15th. If you want more information in this regard, tune into Operation Freedom every Sunday, 2 to 5 Eastern. You can stream it live free at DaveJanda.com. We also have a subscription side, a premium service side at DaveJanda.com, where we deep dive into many of these issues. We bring the best, most comprehensive guests to the forefront that the fake media will never present. Go to DaveJanda.com. We have a lot of information about our, our subscription site as well. I hope you'll join us as I always sign off, dream big and dare to fail.